In the past, I've used Inkscape to create graphics, but I recently discovered that types can pretty much be used for all of the use cases that I've discovered. So I'm going to show you how I've created my YouTube banner. Uh, we start by creating a .tip file, which is a typed file extension. Now, what do you need to get started in a types document? Basically nothing. In LaTeX, you would need to have like begin document and all the preamble, while types is very similar to markdown. I'm using a pretty handy NeoVim extension called Types Preview, link in the description. It lets me preview the document in a web browser. This is live updating. Now, how do we create the banner? Well, first of all, we might want to adjust the paper. So we do that with a set command. We might want to change the background to black, but that's a bit too black, so we might want to lighten it. And you notice the it's kind of inspired by Rust, like this... Um, Functional syntax is very nice. Uh, now we might want to set the text color. And we do that very similarly. And what kind of color do we want? Uh, we can actually also start from black and then lighten it a bit. So, but maybe that's a bit too harsh on the eyes. So we can go for 80% instead. Right. Uh, do we want to change the font maybe? And this one can just read your font cache and give you completions if you have the tiny mist LSP installed. So do we want to make the dimensions of the page different maybe? You can do that by just typing the width and height. Now I happen to know the exact aspect ratio that is needed on banners. It's this. Okay, and now the text is kind of small. So this changes the size of the text. Nice. Uh, what if you want the text in the middle of the screen? Uh, we could do an align with the first argument being the positioning. So maybe in the middle, both vertically and horizontally. Now, how do we add the images? We probably want to use a grid element because it arranges things in a nice structure. And the same here, the LSP will provide completions. Now, this doesn't really look good because all the images have different sizes. We can just set the default image size up here to have a height of maybe one font unit. So we can try a bit more. I don't know, maybe this is fine. But now, how do we have these two things overlap? Because we actually want the grid to take up the full page and then this text is actually an element on top of everything. Instead of having this element be an inline element, we can make it uh, hover and float over everything by using the place method. So now it lives on its own universe. Now, how do we make this grid spread out more? Well, we can actually just set the gutter to be as much as possible a full fraction. Something that's weird is this types the SVG seems to have like a variable that's missing. So what we actually can do, and this is crazy, we can actually read in this SVG as a string and replace that current color with whatever we want. Boom. It might look a bit messy, but remember, this is all inside types. No external program was used. So that's really neat and uh, it's very self-contained. That's it. And you might think it's insane to use a typesetting language for graphical design, but I actually find it really liberating to have exact units and alignments. That's all.